Tom, welcome back, Robert. Outstanding news. Uh, you know, we have to keep on coming for us and, and spoke with how their off season's going, mate. Mate, tell us, uh, you know, from your point of view, the decision to, to come back for the Sharkies for year number three next year. Or, or what was the background? Yeah, well, I mean, I think it's always an easy decision. Um, you know, we've had a lot of success down there in, in the small amount of time that I've been down there. Um, obviously, last year didn't quite go as well as we planned, but um, you know, we were right there and, and bringing back a lot of those sort of key key parts that we had last year is going to, um, you know, give us a chance to sort of get what we couldn't get last year and, and try to get that championship again. So, um, yeah, looking forward to it. Yes, and, and for us too, you know, and, and you must like like what you're seeing, you know, with Weeksy, with, with Dom and with Hiram all, all locked and loaded already uh, to that, that. Great to see that core sticking around, mate. Eh? Yeah, I mean, you know, we had a group of guys on and off the court. So, um, yeah, like I said, that definitely added to the decision process. Um, you know, I mean, we... We had such a good team, you know, we could do such good things um, and I reckon, you know, give us another go at, at um, this championship and it's, it'll be a different story this year. I mean, um, you know, I think everyone's we've been working hard this, this like, as you say, off-season from the New Zealand League. Um, so oh, it'll be awesome to see what we can what we can do. And from your point of view, you know, mate, and we've talked about this a lot, when you, uh, when you think about these last couple of years, you know, coming back from the States, uh, getting started, getting into the national sort of mix as well too, getting a breakers development contract in that first year back, and then obviously turning that into a full roster spot this uh, past season. I mean, mate, mate, you're just tracking so well. You've you got to you got to want to keep this going now, I bet. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been it's been a hectic, hectic, but um, very rewarding few years, you know. Um, you know, getting that a tall black spot too has been... Just sort of a great, great sort of opportunity. And I think it's, you know, I do owe a lot of credit to coming that first season I had down there in Southland, um, you know, really sort of, I guess, developed me and, um, you know, sh- showed, got to show me to, to sort of um, the, the people out there and, and help me get spots and, and move and progress. So, um, yeah, it's been awesome. And, and yeah, please, this is not the, you know, not, we're not plateauing here. We're going to keep going up. So, um, yeah, we're just on. Yeah, mate, that's the plan, all right. Uh, and and I mean, the con- that's a consequence of actually, you know, what you've done over these last couple of years. You're you're a bit of a man in demand as well, too. So no doubt there were some other conversations. I mean, how do you balance that sort of thing out from a decision making point of view? Uh, you know, in, in terms of when you're a man with options from an NBL perspective. Well, actually, you know, it's just um, you know, especially for me, I think it's just, it's trying to get the place that you're most comfortable with. I mean, obviously, everyone's trying to compete and win a championship, so everyone will tell you, you know, I guess what you want to hear and, and to try to get you, but um. Yeah, I mean, I think you know I've just had such good good opportunities and times down in Southland, so it's um, you know it was an easy decision. I mean, yeah, there was conversations with a few other teams, um, but you know, I mean, I think just knowing what I know of Southland, you know, I know I know everyone down there, and I know you know what to expect and and how well we get looked after in the crowds and all that. So you take all that into account, and it really is an easy decision. Nice, mate. And, and of course, it's, there is a freshness this coming year with, with Bevo taking the reins from a coaching point of view. That, that must excite you too with, uh, I guess, some of the initial conversations you've had. Yeah, I mean, I've had a few questions with him already and they've all been, all been great conversations. You know, he's, he sort of prides himself on his development capabilities and, you know, obviously I've, you know, kept progressing over the last couple of years, but I've still seen there's a lot to work on, um, capital a lot to work on in my game. So, yeah, just got to, um, looking forward to getting down there and you know, really getting to work and, and um, seeing what he can do to help me um, progress and, and keep moving forward in this career. Good stuff, man. Hey, listen, good luck for this weekend uh, with, the, uh, with the Breakers. Another big one for you. And nice to get one over uh, Hiram last week and, uh, and with that Hawks win, eh? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah he was, uh, there was a bit of trash talk going on before the game. You know, we're, Both teams are having a bit of a tough start, so um, yeah, we needed that one. I did, I did especially, you know, with them on the other end. So, um, yeah, it was really good. But th- this weekend will be another challenge. So, gearing up and, and on the road to Cairns today. Yeah, good, mate. Hey, good luck for it. Look forward to seeing you down south soon. Cheers, mate. Sounds good.